So module 12 was all over internet safety. Um, and internet safety is so important today because we are using the internet now more than ever. Um, and so we want to ensure that all of the children are using it wisely and safely. Um, as an educator, it's my role to teach internet safety to my students, um, specifically in ways that it relates to the, like in the classroom, but as well as outside of the classroom, because some of those um, students are never going to hear any sort of internet safety um, things from their parents, so their only knowledge is going to come from what they learn um, in the classroom. So one way that I can teach internet safety in my future classroom um, is just doing like an internet safety unit at the like some point in the day. Um, one specific thing to talk about um, that I kind of found online that I really liked um, is to make a list of what's like the differences between talking to someone in person versus online. Um, specifically pointing out that when you're talking to someone online, um, you really don't know who it is. So like if some random person added you on some sort of social media site and they started messaging you, you don't know if the picture of that child is really a child or if it's some like old person sitting behind the computer um, talking to you, kind of like acting like a child just to um, communicate with you through that social media site. So just kind of talking about the differences between talking in person versus online. Um, and another thing to, or another important thing to point out while talking about this is like the information that is not okay to send online. So like um, your address, your age, your full name, like specifically not sending those to people that you don't know 100% like who they are that you're talking to. Um, after exploring the NetSmart website, I did think it had a lot of valuable information um, for the children that was age appropriate. Uh, my favorite part were the Net Net Smarts Kids videos that had short um, animated clips relating to different internet safety things. Um, one of the videos that I watched was called um, It's Okay to Tell, and it talked about how it's okay to tell your parents um, what you see online. And I think that's really important today because recently there was like some Momo thing that was popping up on YouTube and like if the kids told their parents about what they saw and what they heard from this like picture that was talking to them um like bad things would happen to them or their parents and things like that so i think that video did a really good job at pointing out like it's okay to tell your parents what you saw online and here's why you should tell them um, and these videos could definitely be resources to use and to show in the classroom while doing like an internet safety unit with the students um, and now talking about the training program on NetSmart, um, I think it would definitely be useful for like middle school and high school teachers, um, but not necessarily um, elementary students. Uh, a lot of the topics were not quite as relevant for elementary school teachers, so I definitely think that there would probably be a more um, applicable training for them. Um, for example, one of them at the beginning was like a digital ethics and literacy module that talked about like not just taking all the information that you found online and using it. Um, and while yes, that is important for all students to know like the content in that training um, just kind of seemed to be geared more towards like the middle school and high school age students. Um, and not necessarily the elementary age group. So again, like I think it would be good for those like middle school and high school teachers, but maybe not necessarily elementary teachers. Um, and then some of the main points from the youth safety article were cyberbullying, sexual solicitation, privacy, parent and community involvement, um, and then lastly, just internet safety in general. Um, the section that I found most interesting was over cyberbullying, and it talked about how any child can be a cyberbully. Um, it said something about, like, even the straight A student could be a cyberbully. Um, and mainly because um, they bully online because there are ways for them to be, like, anonymous and say things that they, like, can't muster up the strength to say in person. Um, some useful information that I found from this article 
um, was in the parent and community involvement section. It talked about the roles that the adults have, um, and specifically educators, the adults in the students' lives, um, in providing internet safety to the children. Um, it talked about mon monitoring them and educating them on internet safety. Um, I definitely think that a lot of the schools today do a great job at monitor monitoring what the students use their devices for. Um, and like if they look up inappropriate things or if they go on inappropriate sites, it blocks them. So I think the schools definitely do a good job about that. Um, but I definitely think that the educators can continue doing more um, to teach internet safety in the classroom. Um, so that was just a little bit about internet safety.